All right, here with the Kerry Sanders, light heavyweight champion out of Jackson BJJ. How's it going? It's going real good. How you doing? Pretty good. Getting a little wrestling in today? Oh, yeah, man. Got to run under a lot of real key things about your basic wrestling, you know, take down defense, you know, getting up. Uh, worked a lot of real, real, good, real good aspects of it, you know. On November 19th, Minglewood Hall, you're fighting once again for V3 fights, defending your title. What can you tell us about your opponent, Matt Barker, and what threats does he pose? Uh, well, I really don't know, know much about my opponent, Matt Barker, but I know he's out of uh, SSF the Academy up there in uh, Clark, uh, was it Clarksville, Camden, one of Clarkville, I think, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I know that he's out of that school. I know it's a really good school. You know, they've got uh, really good instructors, you know, and they're, they're, they're real go-hard guys. I've had the pleasure of being up there and watching some of their guys fight, uh, you know. But I know I'm going to get in the cage and work my thing, work my game. I mean, I'll say I'm training my butt off, and, you know, I'm going hard every day in the gym to, to make sure that I come out with the win. All right. Now that you're the champion, you have to prepare for five-round fights now instead of three-round fights. How has that stepped up? How have you stepped up your training? For that? Uh, you know, working more on my cardio, you know, more on uh, my strength training, and, you know, keeping that way, my, uh, working on my arms, not getting tired of my body, conditioning my body for a five-round fight. You know, a lot of guys, they train for a five-round fight cardio-wise, but they don't train for a fight conditioning-wise to condition their body for a five-round fight because you can have all the cardio in the world, but your body still gets tired. You know, but you, so you got to condition your body too for that five round fight. So you know, I'm doing a lot of conditioning, strength and conditioning work too. So. Now you're really impressive in your last title defense against Carlton Little. Uh, how much do you credit for switching gyms to Jackson BJJ for your success? Man, I, I credit I credit that a lot. I mean, because they took. I mean, it, I got with Jackson BJJ on real short notice. You know, I mean, I had a lot of things happening going on with my old gym and. You know, Jackson BJJ kind of took me in, you know, and it was, on, it was on short notice, so I didn't have a chance to really exploit all the things that they were teaching me, you know. But now that I've been there for, for some time now, you know, I've, I've earned my third stripe on my belt. Uh, I move, I'm constantly working up, working my way up, you know, working my jiu-jitsu. You know, I love jiu-jitsu. I love being with Jackson BJJ. I mean, the guys, they inspire me. I mean, they're, they're go-hard guys, you know, and I, and I like that, and I need them type of people in my life. Uh, I didn't actually feel like I performed up to par as I wanted to as when I went back and watched the video. I mean, I knew I won the fight. Basically, it was more of a defensive. I was more on the, on the defensive. You know, I had a few good points of attack, you know, a few, uh, a few times that I could have finished it, but, you know, didn't execute. So, you know, I was satisfied, but, you know, not totally happy with the outcome. You know, I'm glad I caught, walked away with the win, but, you know, I looked at improved that. I mean, I've, I've been working on that. Now you started. You started out as a boxer, not even a Jackson BJJ. Are you just as comfortable on the ground as you are standing up? Man, I, I've become a lot more comfortable on the ground. You know now, uh, I feel like I've picked up some really good, really good lessons doing my jujitsu. You know, and jujitsu has has really helped my aspects. You know, being because I'm not I wasn't very comfortable on my back at first, and now you know I can be on my back and not and not do a lot of it. It doesn't mess with me psycho, psychologically. You know, I can get I can get on my back and I can think. You know, I can still think. A lot of guys get on their back that are boxers. You know, you get a boxer on his back and a lot of them can't think. You know, they, they don't know how to process what's going on. Now I know my my instructor got me to the point where I can process what's going on and not panic. Your teammates Joe Cooper and Ryan Collins have decided to go pro. Now that they've done that, do you realize you're the only title holder in V3 to ever defend his belt? Uh, well, yeah, now that is, you know, that is a big thing, you know, but, you know, I still got them guys there with me, you know, we still see each other, we train, you know, and they only inspired me to, you know, step my game up even more so that I can join them on that pro level. And, you know, we once be reunited as uh, title holders on the pro level in that gym, you know, and, uh, I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to, and I'm looking forward to advancing my career. I don't look forward to letting this belt go. I mean, a lot of guys want this belt, but, I mean, they, they, they got to step their game up. I'm stepping my game up. I'm in the gym. I'm going hard. I want to make this a career, you know, and a lot of guys don't want that. It's, a lot of guys doing this is part-time. You know, for me, this is it. This is what I want now, you know, and I'm hungry. So, I mean, the guys getting in my way are only threats to me right now. Everybody's a threat, whether what background they have. Everybody's a threat to me, and I'm after them. You know, I, I, want, I, I want what they got. You know, if they got the fame, I want that. If they got the, the, the fans, I want that. You know, if they have a belt, I want that. You know, I, I'm, I'm looking to move up in this game. So, all you boys out there that's uh, looking at my belt, you know, I mean, you got to step your game up, man. You got to step your game up. I'm not knocking you or in, in any kind of way. You might be a good fighter, man, but all oh, that's out the window once that door closes and that pin drops on that cage.
right. Your prediction on how the fight's going to end and in what round? Uh, I'm looking for either uh, either a first round knockout or or a second round submission. All right. Any final comments, shout outs, or thank yous? Man, I want to thank Jackson BJJ, man, uh, Merciless Fighters, my apparel, Suckwear, man. You know, these guys, you know, they're doing their things. You know, they inspired me as well. You know, uh, I actually got people working on my shirts, you know, that's going to be dropping out soon. Uh, I want to thank my Ashley Wheat, man, my instructor, Joel Cooper, Ryan Collins, you know, everybody in the gym, Sat, you know, uh, everybody in Jackson BJJ that's helped me and motivated me to move forward, man, motivated me to keep on doing what I'm doing, and, you know, telling me every day, dude, you're going to be good, you're going to be good, you're going to be good at positive reinforcement, man. Thank all you guys, my family, my friends, my fans, thank all you guys, man, for the support throughout this endeavor. Thank you for your time. Good luck on the 19th. Man, thanks.